used for individual self-defense. The pistol. Submachine gun. Carbine. The pistol, caliber 45, is a semi-automatic weapon. It weighs approximately two and a half pounds. Fires caliber 45 ammunition. And has a magazine which holds seven rounds. It is normally carried by individuals who have command duties, other primary weapons, or certain crew-served weapons personnel. It is a rugged, dependable, accurate weapon capable of placing all of its shots in the desired area. To obtain accuracy, certain basic principles must be applied. Alignment of sights with each other and alignment of sights with the bullseye plus trigger squeeze. After one becomes proficient, the weapon can be accurately fired in combat positions, such as the crouch position. Kneeling position. position. A comparison of the striking power of the M1 rifle firing caliber 30 ammunition and the pistol firing caliber 45 ammunition at the same range. First the M1 bullet strikes the steel plate. Then the pistol. Next, the submachine gun. It fires the same caliber 45 cartridge as the pistol. The gun weighs approximately eight and a half pounds. And is fed from a magazine which contains 30 rounds. It is loaded in the following manner. The cover raised, the bolt pulled to the rear, and the cover is closed to lock the bolt in the rear position for safety. The magazine is inserted and fully seated. To fire, the weapon is positioned, and then the cover is raised. This takes the safety off and allows space for ejection of the empty shells. It can be fired single shot, by trigger manipulation, or automatic. The gun has a fixed rear sight. It is extremely accurate at close ranges. The cyclic rate of fire is 450 rounds per minute. Should be fired in short bursts. The weapon is designed so that when firing long bursts, the climb of the muzzle is negligible. Carbine, caliber 30 M2. It is a semi-automatic and automatic weapon. 
It weighs approximately five and a half pounds. Fires caliber 30 ammunition. And is fed from a magazine containing 30 rounds. Loaded in this manner. There is a selector on the left side of the receiver which can be set for semi-automatic or automatic fire. When the semi-automatic feature is used, greater accuracy is obtained. But in the automatic position, the gunner may have difficulty in keeping the hits on the target. However, this capability has special value for village or jungle warfare. Ball ammunition penetrates steel. And tracer can be used to point out targets or for signaling purposes. Weapons you have seen are for members of the army to be used for their individual self-defense. They are highly effective at close ranges. Another example of the firepower at your disposal as a U.S. Army infantryman. <laughs>